Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be starting a new series called Viva Preparation where I basically share with you images that I feel would be perfect for a Viva examination and show you how I would go about approaching these cases and how I would summarize these cases in an examination setting. Now I want to start by saying I'm by no means an expert and the main reason I started this channel was to share with you as I learn and kind of learn by teaching. So any constructive feedback that you have for me in the comments I would love to hear that from you. So I'd encourage you to pause the video now, come up with your own concise summary where you end with a diagnosis or a list of differentials and maybe an action plan going forward. And once you've done that, rejoin me for my summary, um, which I'm going to share with you now. So this is an AP standing abdominal radiograph of a six month old. There's evidence of extensive pneumoperitoneum with bilateral subdiaphragmatic lucency in the upper abdomen. There's a clear double wall or Riegler's sign throughout the abdomen, further uh, supporting the diagnosis of pneumoperitoneum. There are large air-filled distended loops of bowel throughout the abdomen with air fluid levels in the lower abdominal distended loops. There's no evidence of rectal air and there's no evidence of periportal free gas. So in summary, this is an abdominal radiograph of a six-month-old that shows uh, evidence of a bowel obstruction with bowel perforation and free abdominal air. Most common uh, etiologies in this case, in this age group, would be uh, intussusception or an incarcerated hernia or intestinal volvulus, amongst others. Uh, but regardless of the etiology, this is a surgical emergency, and I would immediately phone the pediatric surgeon on call to discuss these findings. And that's it. I would stop there. I wouldn't carry on. I've got a tendency to carry on and try fill the silence and kind of dig myself further into a hole and kind of just make myself look stupid. So for me, my goal is to give a concise summary and, and stop. Let the examiner then ask a question about what I would do next or would there be further investigations or do you have any other differentials and then kind of get it back and forth with the examiner. At least that's, that's how I feel what works for me. Uh, otherwise, I do what I'm doing now. I just carry on talking. So I would love to know from you if you feel like I've left anything out, if you would add something to the summary or if you would take away anything from the summary. And hopefully as these cases go on, I'll get better at summarizing cases and you will also benefit from these videos. So whenever I come across a case that I feel like will be good for a Viva, I'm going to share it with you in this series. I'm going to make a playlist, which hopefully will come up here once that playlist gets made. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video on the channel. I hope everyone is well and I hope these videos have been of some value to you. Goodbye, everyone.